Hello everyone, and welcome to this overview video on how to get started with using the Datasmith Exporter plugin for Revit. I will start by installing the plugin, which I've downloaded directly from the Twinmotion webpage. I'll follow the prompts. You'll notice it automatically detects which Revit versions I have installed on my computer. And once it's installed, I'm ready to use the plugin. I'm going to open a sample project. Then I'll have to navigate to a 3D view. Once I have my 3D view, I'm ready to export the contents to Twinmotion. So you'll have to go to your Datasmith toolbar, which is located at the top. And you have two workflows to export your content. You can use the direct link method or the export Datasmith file. So the first icon is to synchronize. The second one is to manage the connection for the direct link. And the third one is to export your Datasmith file. To start a direct link, I will start Twinmotion. Once I have Twinmotion open, I'll click on the import icon, go to the import direct link menu, and you'll notice it automatically detected my source file with the Revit project and then I can decide how I want to organize my material and I'm going to choose collapse by material. Once that's done, I go back to Revit and I just click synchronize. As soon as that's done, I can go to the scene graph and see all the contents I was brought in. This is the first uh, method to direct link. And every time I want to make changes to my project, I just need to go back to Revit and click on the synchronize icon. Whenever you want to continue working, you'll have to open Revit and your Twinmotion project together, and it should automatically detect your direct link. Otherwise, if you've changed the name, you can go to the settings and go to the direct link settings and update your direct link path. This is the first workflow. And the second workflow is to import a Datasmith file. And you can import more than one Datasmith file. So you can break down your scene depending on how you want to work. And I'll just go to the geometry option, click open, and go find the Datasmith file that I already saved. And you can notice under option, you can also choose how you want to organize your material. And I'm going to keep it at collapse by material. Once I click OK, it's going to bring in the content. And now I'm ready to work on my project in Twinmotion. And to update your project, you'll just have to export a new Datasmith file and either click refresh or relocate if you change the name. This concludes the overview on how to get started with the plugin, and I hope this was helpful. Thank you for watching. Bye, everyone.